Hi, I'm Professor Dr. Ashish Dabalbak at Aesthetics Spa and Advanced Aesthetics in Pune. We are covering a series of educational lectures on chemical peels and today I'm going to be talking about the common myths or misconceptions about uh, chemical peel. Chemical peel, as we have covered earlier, is made of fruit acids and when you apply it on the skin, it helps in shedding of the epidermal cells and helps the dead skin cells to shed off and allows growth of new healthy cells to come up. It's a very common and popular procedure, but there are a lot of misunderstandings. One of the commonest misunderstanding is that if you're having a chemical peel, it will make your skin peel a lot and it will kind of peel in layers. So this is a myth. There are various types of peels and uh, they work differently but the common peels like glycolic or salicylic or mandelic or others they do not cause peeling in layers the peeling may be even invisible to micro flaking again depends on the depth of penetration that your uh, professional uh, physician or doctor wants tca peel is a peel which may cause a layer to come off uh, but most of the other peels they don't cause visible peeling they are usually invisible or microscopic shedding of the skin cells uh, or flaking which when you wash it disappears if you apply a moisturizer it disappears uh, and um, although it is beneficial to have a flaking or peeling it's not always something that can happen Another myth associated with uh, peels is that every time you have a peel, you have the same effect. Again, that may or may not happen. You may have aggressive peeling in one peel and then a barely minimum peeling in the second or subsequent peels or you know vice versa. Another myth is that if I go to a clinic for a consultation they, they can do a peel right away and you can start off with your peeling sessions right at the first consultation so it's usually advised to have some conditioning of the skin by using skin conditioners like uh, moisturizers or my glycolic acids or some skin lighteners like arbutin or kojic acid as a skin conditioning program in the form of creams that you apply for at least 10 to 15 days uh, to ensure that the skin behaves uh, in an appropriate manner when the peeling is done. What, what I mean by that is that the penetrance of the peel is then more uniform and you get a uniform and a much controlled outcome if you have conditioned the skin prior to having a chemical peel. If you go in and straight have a peel you are at risk of very rapid penetration at various spots not even uniformly so you get aggressive penetration and peeling in one area which is then prone to ph while the other areas have not uh, penetrated enough so prior skin conditioning is important so that is something that is important when it comes to uh, chemical peels 